guys, welcome to Ellie Mae Smoke Barbecue. Today we're going to be doing a uh, rig, a rig, a rack of ribs that we picked up at the grocery store. Now this is cut St. Louis style, which basically is cut off the spare rib. And what we're going to do today, this thing weighs about four pounds, and we really haven't done much trimming to it, other than uh, pulled off most of the membrane that's on the back side of it. Um, but Today, I'm going to be doing this on the drum smoker, and we're going to be using hickory wood. So what we really want to start with is a seasoning uh, that we made up, and uh, I'm not sure exactly everything in there, garlic, salt, pepper, um, but I will uh, put the recipe in the description down below if you're interested in that. So the first thing we want to do is we want to put a light coating of soy sauce on the rib. Now. The reason for that is it's just going to basically give the rib a rich, savory flavor, bring out the flavors of the meat. You know, there are some people on the side of the fence that it will tenderize the meat, but probably won't do a very good job with that because you typically want something that's more acidic to tenderize the meat, and that's not very acidic, or not acidic enough to do much tenderizing. So first thing I want to do is take my handy dandy brush and get some soy sauce put on this, just a light coat, and then we'll put the rub over it. Then we're going to run the smoker about 275 degrees today, and this being a four pound rib, we're probably looking at, I would say, five to six hours to get it done. And then, uh, but, you know, soy sauce, kind of like salt, just brings out the natural flavors of the meat. And the rub does have salt in it as well, so. I think I'm going to go ahead and just season this side now that we got the nice coating of rub. This rub really smells good, I would say that. And then once we get to, we'll probably put about two hours of smoke on it, and then we're going to wrap it. When we wrap it, we're going to put a layer of honey, butter, some more brown sugar. And then we'll get it all wrapped up, put back on on the smoker probably for another couple hours, and then unwrap it and glaze it with the sauce probably for another 30 minutes or so, depending on where the ribs are at in the cook process. Basically, just looking to get that sauce caramelized. It's really got a nice marbling of fat through it, so this one's going to have some great flavor once it's completed. And then we are going to use Cowboy Brand Lump Coat today. Normally we use the Royal Oak, but we don't have any of that, so I'm going to go with the Cowboy Brand. So, get this out of the way. Get this nice and seasoned up. This does have a little bit of cayenne pepper and a little bit of chili powder in it as well. Just to give it that little kick when you're eating it. There we have it, man. Get all the sides nice and coated and seasoned. No meat left undone, as they say. And you don't have to use the soy sauce if you don't want to. I just did that. Just kind of richen up the flavor a little bit. But there you have it, nice and seasoned, and uh, you know, ready to go. So what we're gonna do now is just leave it set here, and we're gonna go get the smoker ready, get it fired up, and like I said, we're gonna run it about 275 degrees. We're looking at about five, five and a half hours total cook time. But once we get it on the smoker, we'll let it roll for about two hours, bring it back in, and then wrap it up, and then put some uh, brown sugar, and butter, and some honey, and really just add a bunch of different flavors to it. And, you know, the butter will keep the meat moist. So, off to the smoker we go. We'll bring you back when we bring it back in. So, everybody, stay tuned. We'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, there you have it. We're about an hour into the smoke right now, and you can see the meat starting to pull away from the bone. We're getting good color on it. That bark's starting to form. Now, I did do an audible, and I added a pan uh, below the ribs. You can see it there sizzling, which is basically two cups of apple juice and two cups of water. 
just to keep moisture and add a little bit of a flavor. So there you have it. We get this lid down, let it go by another hour. We'll check it then and then we'll bring you back when we take it in to wrap it up. So right, stay tuned. back. It's been about an hour and a half. We pulled the ribs off. Uh, real happy with the color. Starting to pull back on the bone really nice. Um, starting to develop a great bark. So what we want to do now is get them wrapped. And what we're going to do is just make a layer of three things. Brown sugar, butter, and some honey that we have over here. Some uh, homegrown, well, not homegrown, but home produced honey. Whatever, whatever you call it. So first thing we want to do is just get a layer of uh, brown sugar down. And then we'll put meat side down. And then we'll flip it over and do the same thing. On each side, and this is really going to enhance the flavor of this thing. Actually, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go meat side or bone side down first, and then I'm going to flip it. So we have that, and I'm going to take some honey. Just kind of put a little zigzag of honey. take a bunch of these butter pats really the ideal thing to do is use the squeeze butter it's nowhere near as messy as these but uh, we don't have any so next best thing is these butter pats so we have that so there you have that that side uh, I can scrap off my hand then we're going to put the rack of ribs on there. And I think we're going to go bone side down first. Now we'll go meat side down, so when we flip it, it rolls right on top of it. So real simple, just like that. And then, same thing on this side with the brown sugar. This side's a little easier. you got a better surface to work with. Not, not guessing on how big the rib is. This is going to caramelize real nice once it's uh, put back on the smoker with the honey and the butter. Same thing, get the sugar off my hand, a little bit of honey. I tell you what, man, this smells really good. Really, really good. I cannot wait till these things are done. Well, these things, this thing is done. Again, Butter pats. This is really messy. Mm. Ah, stuck together. So there we have that. And that's it, man. I'm going to go back on the smoker probably, I would guess, another couple hours. Um, and then we'll uh, pull them off and see see where they're at, see what they look like. And then, like I said, the last hour or so, we'll put a, glaze or a sauce on it, probably just a barbecue sauce that we make. We'll throw it back on there for 30 minutes or so and uh, just kind of let it glaze uh, and caramelize a little bit. And then we'll pull them off and then uh, go from there. So there you have it. So we'll get this wrapped up back on the smoker and we'll see you in a couple hours. Stay tuned. Alright guys, here we have it. The final product. Just pulled these things off the smoker about 10 minutes ago. Took just a little bit over 4 hours. And you can see it's got great color. We've already sauced it. Um, put our favorite sauce on it. And then you can just see it's pulled back from the bone really, really nice. Um, ran the smoker, like I said, 275-300. In about four hours, wrapped it after two hours, and you saw the brown sugar, the butter, and the honey that we put into it. And then wrapped it back up, put it back on the smoker. So what we want to do now is just see uh, see how it tastes. So what we're going to do now is uh, tear into it. So let's see what we got. Man, look how that just comes apart. Jiminy, God Almighty! And you see the smoke ring in there? And the bone just pulls right out of there. Feels like pulling it through butter. So, <clears throat> you can see the bull, the meat's pulled away. So let's just pull a piece off here and see what we got going on. Look how it just comes right off there. Insane, really insane. Ooh, it's hot too. 
course, just came off the smoker. I'm using my trusty tongs because <laughs> that dude is hot. Come on, buddy. There we have it. Now, let's see if I can get a piece of meat off that. There we go. Mmm. So moist. Extremely tender. Ridiculously tender. Rub's got uh, a little bit of a sweet sweetness to it going down and finishes with just a little bit of a kick, which is perfect. Probably the cayenne pepper in there. And you get just a hint of apple, you know, because remember we used a two cup of apple juice, two cup water mixture, uh, and then put a water pan on the bottom of it. And you just taste a little bit of apple. It's just really got great flavor. Uh, real happy with how they came out. Very, very, very tender. Um, actually, ridiculously tender. And I'm very excited to get into these things and uh, chat out on some ribs. So just to kind of recap what we did, it's about a four pound uh, spare rib cut down to a St. Louis cut. The only thing we really did to it was take the uh, membrane off the back, put some soy sauce on it, both sides, then we uh, hit it with our rub, which I'll have the recipe of that rub down below in the descriptions later. And then uh, threw it on the smoker, ran the smoker about 275, 300, used hickory wood, uh, for the smoke and it took right about four hours and there you have it man so remember give this baby a thumbs up hit that subscribe button don't forget to ring that bell you don't want to miss any future videos here at LMA Smoke Barbecue so that's it for today guys gals we're gonna go ahead and sit down and eat uh, but just remember man this time of uh, pandemic stay healthy stay safe we'll see you guys next video take care